upgrading the iOS XE software on your Catalyst 9000 series switch. So guys, it's gonna be a quick video today just to talk about how to do the upgrade on the iOS XE operating system of your switches. Um, this is for any of the newer Catalyst switches that are out there. It's a little bit of a different process than, uh, than some of the old previous models of the switches, but what Cisco did here is they actually made it a little bit easier for all of us. So that's always a good thing. Um, I'm going to be following this guide in order to do it, and I'll post a link to this in the, the video description so you guys can take a look at it if you want. Essentially, we're going to be using three different commands here. One's called install add, install activate, and then install commit. So to get started here, the first thing you want to do is go out and download the version of code that you want. I'm going to be downloading the Fuji 1691 version of code for my, for my 9300. And we're going to go ahead and download this and then put this on your TFTP server. Once it's there, we're going to go into our switch and we're going to start by doing that install command here. And if I do a quick question mark, you can see there's my install activate, there's my install add, and my install commit. So like I said, first here we're going to do the install add. So I got install add, file, TFTP, your server, and then the file name. And then just hit enter. And it's going to start downloading the code. And I might stop the video here just to let this download because this, this could take a, uh, a couple minutes to, for the download to take place. And then when it's done, I'll, I'll resume it. Okay, guys, so you could see here that the file finished downloading and it was added to the switches. And if this was in a stack, it could be uh, pushed down to all the members of the stack. And we're back here at the hash prompt and you know you can see above it says success so the next thing that we're going to want to do is run this install activate command and you know would you like to save configuration sure yes we'll do that Okay guys, so now you can see that we have activated it and the switch is gonna go ahead now and uh, reload. So once it's done, we're gonna do the install commit and we'll be all set. So we just gotta wait a little bit for this to come back. Okay guys, so the system, the switch reloaded and everything, it rebooted, it's back up. Uh, so far the entire process I would say is taking about 25-30 minutes. Um, a lot of that time, most of that time was downloading the software package. Um, then it took maybe 5-10 minutes or so to actually do the reboot, if that. Um, and so we're here ready to do the last command here, and which is install commit. And we're committing it and we're done. So at this point, we've got the new version of code installed on here and the switch is up to date. So really simple, again, using these three commands, install add, install activate, and install commit. And guys, if I do a quick show version here, right at the top, you could see we're running 160901. So that's exactly what I wanted to have on here. And pretty much it. So guys, I hope you like this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel and a thumbs up or a like is always appreciative. Thanks a lot.